Hello everyone. So today I am uh, opening a box from Turkey. Uh, this is from uh, Sala Music out of Istanbul, I believe. And uh, I got two really cool things to show you from them today. And uh, well, let's go. Well, let me show you what it is. All right, there you go. These are the two items. Um, <laughs> so these are two different kinds of stands. Um, I've never seen these stands before anywhere. Um, and uh, this thing really interests me. This is something specific. So this is specifically for large hand drums, uh, frame drums, like DOFs. Um, the idea is that there's this um, you can put the DAF straight up, so if you're, you know, playing it with your hands and you need to set it down, you're able to put it into this holder, put this thing, which rests up against the side of the head, and it basically holds it in place so that it doesn't tip over. So that, you know, you, you can put it down if you, if you need some place to put it, that, you know, that if you're not mounting it, if you're playing it hands and then need, need to put it down, it, you know, just put it down the floor, it takes up less footprint because you can put it up straight. Um, and it's just like real simple little uh, holder with a little like um, kind of small little mallet that rests up against it. So I'm going to try that on my DAF in a second. Here's the other little item that I found. Um, and this is a specialty stand that is supposed to accommodate up to, I think, 22 or 23. I guess I gotta look that up. And maybe I'll put it on top of the screen while I'm talking, how many inches it can accommodate. But the idea is that you have four, um, so instead of a tripod or like a snare drum mount, this has four different um, arms that can be adjusted. So, this is the cool thing. So basically this was invented for very large doffs or frame drums and to mount those because traditional snare stands, it's really hard fitting anything above maybe a 16 inch. I've seen some snare drums that, you know, comp, uh, stands accommodate a 16 inch uh, frame drum, but larger than that, uh, you're kind of, you know, you don't have a lot of options, but all four of these different arms can adjust. So for example, uh, I unscrew here, lengthen there, lengthen there, okay. Um, maybe I need it to go wide, but keep it narrow here, so I can adjust the depth there. And this is really cool because this one, unlike some snare stands, can go all the way vertical, so 90 degrees, flat, anywhere like that. So um, it's a uh, very cool. So I have a couple large uh, frame drums that I want to try out on this. I have a compact Serto drum that I've never really been able to find a really nice stand for. So I was hoping that that would work for this. And then I'm going to show you how the little DOF drums holder works as well. We'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. Um, so I got two different drums to bring out here. I just measured these and at the, the furthest width, width um, they seem to be just a little different. Um, one direction is just short of 23 inches. And then the other length is just short of 24 inches. So the two drums that I have are a, a 22, no, sorry, a 21 and a 20.75. Um, so really I got this stand to accommodate the Serto drum. Um, before now, I've been using like a frame drum holder for this and bracing it on a stand, but it is kind of heavy and it's so big that when you actually hold it, like I can't even do this with my hand, it's so heavy, um, that, you know, there's a lot of pressure if you put it on a frame drum mount. So to have something that can hold it, um, and I don't have any snare stands that can accommodate this big of a drum because it's almost a 21 inch drum. So I thought, 
maybe this will work. So let's try it out. There you go. That holds it really well, actually. I really like the fact that this can go, it can tip all the way to be a 90 degree angle. Like if you needed to do like that. Um, and it's also height adjustable. So if I needed to, to bring it down to this low. Um, so that's pretty nice. And that's the, uh, the tripod base that comes out. You know, it's very similar to um, the bases you'll see for um, uh, like music stands or uh, speaker, um, uh, the speaker stands. Um, so it's very similar, uh, but then it has this top portion which can angle it and adjust width-wise. So let's try the other drum See how that works. All right, so this is all um, in. It's very stable. This one has uh, rings on the inside. So you might hear a little ringing when I play it, but um, it works great. Um, yeah, I love this stand. Um, I'm going to see if I can put some other stuff on it. So right here, I just attached um, a pair of Meinl wooden bongos. Uh, this is obviously too narrow, but putting it on each side, it still works. Now, I wouldn't necessarily be able to angle it too much um, because it's only being held in place on the sides and not underneath or on, so, it may not be the best thing. I know it's not designed for this, but I was just trying some other things to see if it might work. All right, so this is a 17 and a half inch um, bass drum floor tom. And uh, sometimes it's hard to find a stand that accommodates this. So I just grabbed this off the shelf. Again, I think what you're going to want to do is um, put some padding uh, on the cross bars underneath. It has padding on the inside of the of the um, the little holders on the ends, but nothing on the cross pieces itself. So I'll probably install a little bit of foaming. Uh, if I hold it in place, it sounds great. And I really do like the fact that you can. Um, tilt this quite a bit. For yourself, but I have yet to find uh, a stand that really accommodates super large drums. Um, so whether you have kind of like one of these compact certos or small bass drums, or a variety of different uh, frame drums, um, anything like that, uh, you know, that this could fit. Or if you have those, maybe those LP uh, laptop Kungas, um, it does need to be a certain minimum width, which again, I, I think I said earlier, but um, I'll just measure it again. The minimum width is basically 14 by, 13 and a half, 14 by 13 and a half. Um, and that will give you your minimum um, dimensions. Uh, but then it goes all the way up to between 22 and 23 inches. I mean, definitely a 22 will fit. Uh, I got it, I think I got one just short of 24 and the other just short of 23. 
um, which I don't know of any other stand that can that, that's like that. Uh, this was about 150 bucks um, online, and it was free shipping uh, from Turkey, and it came relatively quickly in about a week to two weeks. Um, so I think this can be used for a lot of different applica applications, um, multiple percussion setups, pit work, um, anything that you really need to mount, uh, especially large frame drums. This guy is great. Um, and I think it would even accommodate, um, you know, larger drums if you need it, um, like a large uh, uh, floor tom. It does have a minimum uh, height from the bottom, so it doesn't go down super low. And it seems like right here, the minimum is 27 inches tall. That's as low as it sits. Um, and we'll see, let's see how, how tall it can go. Let's see, it's about, about as tall as I would want it to go. And that is between 39 and 39 and a half inches tall. So that, that shows you where you can place it. Um, and like I said, it does tilt just past 90 uh, degrees. So that's really cool. The last snare drum stands I know that can't do that. So that's that stand. Uh, this other stand, uh, it does have a minimum width. So if your frame drum has a large um, width to the actual frame of the frame drum, it won't fit this. My doth that I put on this stand earlier, it didn't, it didn't fit. So it seems like the minimum width is one and a half inches. So if it's larger than one and a half, it won't fit in this. Um, I grabbed another drum. Where is it? To see how this thing works. It looks to me like I might go to my neighbor and have him um, make this extra wide. Cause you have still some, a lot of, it still seems like there's another inch I could take out of here. Um, basically it has a, um, a flat bottom and then two sides that are kind of slightly um, angled in. And then this gets put in against the head. So for example, if I do like this, put this frame drum in here, tip it over, it holds it in place like that. So that's how it's supposed to work. Um, again, I got it from my DOF, but I guess they make this for DOFs that have a little bit more of a narrow um, width of a frame. Uh, so I might come back later and see if I can cut some more area out of this to make it accommodate my bigger frame drums. Um, so that's a little disappointing that it doesn't fit, but it's a cool concept. Um, I'm going to see if I can DIY it and make it work for my other drums. But there you go. Those are the two, um, the two items I got to show you. Uh, this thing is really great. Like I said, again, uh, I'm thinking about putting some padding on these crossbars so that whatever you do put on there, it doesn't rattle because it's metal on here and I would want to get it up off so it doesn't rattle on the stand. But the concept's great. I like how there's four points of adjustment. Um, that's going to come in really handy for a lot of these larger frame drums that I have to mount. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.